What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Grand by D, and I'm back with another video. Hey, I know I've been gone for a long time. We're back now. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, man. We on the road to um, 100 subscribers. Let's keep going, man. Let's keep going up. All right. So today we're going to be making um, dreads in uh, Blender. So the, the um, software I use is Blender. So what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is, we're going to delete this cube right here. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Got to delete you out. All right, and then we're gonna use a Suzanne here. So we're gonna go to add up here. Let's find the monkey. Yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look at him. All right, let's press G Z to move this up. Let me turn my. Actually, let me turn my keys on so y'all can follow me down here, right there. All right. So we're gonna smooth this buddy out. Um, let's go to. So division surface modifier probably go by three right there all right so we got our head so first thing we need was a head so we got our head all right second thing we need to do is we need to um make the faces where the hair is gonna be so the hair is gonna be like right around here so let's yeah let's just make the face all right so let's go to let's press tab on the edit mode and then let's press this button right here so it can snap on there like that we can actually subdivide this but right now I don't want to do that so we're gonna press 3 because this is just a simple tutorial and we're gonna select all these faces that are gonna correspond with the hair oh, just go control Z go back okay let's press all these faces all of them that looks about right yeah let's do that mm, let's delete that one let's keep that one right here like that all right so now we got the face selected so now what we want to do is we want to press shift d and then we want to um want to right click so it can stay where it's at all right then we're gonna press P, press the selection, and now it's its own. We made it its own separate object. All right, so now let's get out of edit mode. All right, and now let's select this. All right, and then we're gonna be using the um, hair particle system. So we're gonna we're gonna add a vertex group like that. All right, and then we're gonna go down here to the hair particles. And we're gonna add hair particles. And instead of emitter, we're gonna press here. All right, so it gives crazy hair, and all these settings right here, you can um, you can edit like hair length, all types of the properties of hair. So right now, we're just gonna bring this hair length down, like that right there. All right. So, all right. So first thing that we need to do is we need to figure out how long we want our hair. So I'll say about. All right, there is it's fine. I'm gonna turn on hair dynamics. We'll look at all these settings. Catch doesn't mean nothing. We're gonna need this right here. We're gonna bump this up. This path. Press this B spline right there. Bump this up to six. Um, report shading. Let's bump this up to like seven. More steps. Let's go to children. Okay, this is really important right here. All right. So it's different different settings for different types of hair. You, you just play around with the hair and see what you like. But for dreads, I'm going to use this one right here. This at right here makes it more fuller. Alright. I'm gonna press the display amount up to about a hundred. Maybe a hundred and fifty. I'm still playing around with it. Alright, we're gonna turn let's see. Parting, we're gonna turn it all the way up. See, we can turn that all the way up. All right. Then we're gonna use we're gonna use a clump curve. Press this button right here, and then we're gonna take this ticker right here, move it down like that, and then we're gonna we're gonna move this like right up in there. Okay. 
so as you can see it's giving us you know some little little spikes but the problem right now is we have too many so what we want to do is we want to reduce the number of the number of, of um, hair um, number of hair things we have so what we're gonna do is just gonna let me just take this down to five probably about 500 see how they look that's still too many let's take it down to two 200 okay okay we're getting there we're getting there that may be still too many let's go to 50 all right it looks that looks straight looks good now okay so got a little 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 spikes out here all right so oh uh, let's see what well, well, let's break this down to like five about right there okay so roughness So I increased the length a little bit. I might even take some of these down. Well, no, I'm gonna keep it at 50. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna keep it right there. I might. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So what I did was, um, when I when I went into this roughness right here. I change this to the point zero one zero. Okay. And what's gonna change these to looking like dreads is this uniform right here. So let's just press shift, move over. You see how this look on this single dread. Let's go up a little bit. As you can see it gives a little roughness to a dread. Starting to look like a like a dreadlock. Okay. Let's go up a little bit more. All right, all right. So these are kind of like, you know, a little thick. So what we want to do, um, this flatness right here, we can pump this up so it can be tighter to the scalp. So let's just go up. So somewhere about right there is fine. We can probably go back down a little bit, give a little thickness. Probably about right up in there. All right. All right. So what we can do now to turn the hair, to make the hair lay down, is um, we can add a collision. So let's turn these segments up to about twelve, like that. Um, and then we got on hair dynamics. Let's press play. To see how it looks. As you can see, all the hair drops down. But it goes through here so we don't want that so let's just go all the way back so we have hair dynamics we can probably bump this length up a little bit actually hold on let's go back let's press ctrl z let's press ctrl z let's go back let's take this ticker all the way back and then let's edit the length so let's go one like that um let's take this flatness down let's make it a little thicker yeah a little thicker let's just play around with it how we want it how we want the, the dress okay so next step we need to do is we need to select our object and we need to make a go to physics uh properties and press collision and then we can press play we can also like to we can press play and we can just watch it drop all right so this is how it looks with the collision so now let's um color this so first thing we're going to do is we are going to Set up. Yeah, we can just go in the shade. 
Okay. So we just we'll just go into the shading tab. We we'll just add skin. What color should suit this to um this guy be? Black, brown. I don't know man. I don't know man. We just we just <laughs> just do some okay so this is the big part okay so this is the hair right here we can probably cut down on some of them but what we can do is so it's not letting me add a hair uh, BSDF we could just put some blackness on here like this all right so we changed the cycles. So now it's gonna let us add the hair BSDF. And then we can just hex delete that. We can just connect this to surface like that. And let's press this. Let's go in the cycles. See how this is looking. Let's pull it. Let's go back here. Let's go back to layout. Let's um set up a background. So let's add a plane, just a regular setup. Scale it G Y. Let's scale it. Let's go into edit mode. I know I'm moving fast right now, but this is just a little basic setup. Let's press E to extend. Well, let's press. Two, so we can go into edge and vertex mode let's press E to extrude Z go all the way up here this one we're just gonna keep it like that it must be fine all right let's go to the camera let's go to view over here press lock camera to view so anywhere the camera goes it follows our view so shift over let's just position this right Okay. Okay, so that's looking okay. So let's see how it looks in cycles. Alright. So let's get a little let's get a little close up on how this looking. It's looking not bad. We might want to add another layer under here. Cause it look kinda like thin. So we might want to do that but let's um style it here so let's go back and let's add this color let's pull this up let's go to shade editor click on see what we can let's get out of edit mode click on this um let's go let's go black like that Actually, we might want to go. Might want to go. Yeah, let's go red. All right. So the voice um, thing got messed up again. So what I did was I'm going to add a, um, a color ramp, and I'm going to add two colors to the color ramp. First is going to be just black and white. Then I started to add some. Um, some variety so I so you can see like when I add the color ramp it's different types of colors so like you see more black and you can see more red and um, yeah and I just kept on playing with the colors as you can see so then I wanted a uh, two-tone look so now I'm going to add a gradient map so I get one side one color and the other side another color so I just add the color into the FAC right there and then I pick what color I want by changing it on the color ramp so I went with a light like yellowish greenish and yeah that is basically it
Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Give me more suggestions on what I should do, man. We're on the road to 100 subscribers, man. Love all y'all that support me, man. And if you don't support me, I still love you, man. All right. See y'all later. Goodbye. Subscribe.